badge? Okay, so I have a sheriff's badge? What is this? That is awesome. I don't have my glasses on. Is this okay, is this, not a badge? This is Sterling Silver Lion. Oh, it's a lion! Thank you. A lioness! They don't have lionesses. That's why it's not a lion. Represents courage and commemorates your significant contributions as a true blue woman of courage Aww. for all you accomplished in Michigan and all you have done and are doing to fan the democratic flames in Texas! <laughs> Okay, that's a really hard act to find. Possible, so we're not even going to try. Not even going to try. Many of you today purchased candles to honor the women of courage in you. Every single candle is a story, and stories are important. They define and bind our humanity. At the very last luncheon committee, which I think was last week, I asked all of our committee members to tell me the story of their honoree. And it was amazing. The stories were diverse, they were poignant, they were touching. Blondine's mother, I don't know where you are, Blondine, Marguerite, worked as a hotel maid so her daughter could go to college. Linda's mother-in-law, Joanne, was the first female purchasing agent for the Wichita Falls School District. Celeste's mother, Adelaide, raised three children alone when her husband died at age 31. Charlotte's mother, Helvesta, encouraged her children to get a college education, and according to Charlotte, she encouraged everybody else to, too. Karen says her daughter, Stacy, is the bravest woman she knows. Nancy's sister, Diane, is battling breast cancer daily. And Hazel's mother, Stina, had an eighth grade education. But all four of her children got college degrees. And did I mention they were girls? So our volunteers are going around right now, lighting the candles, and as soon as they are all lit, we're going to have a moment of silence while you think of your honoree's story. Are our candles all lit? I think they are. Okay, 30 seconds of silence. Think of your honoree. the story of the woman of courage in your life because they inspire and they will form the heritage of future generations of women. Thank you so much for coming today. It's time for us all to gather our collective courage and go out there and change the world. <laughs>